What's going on guys, Roger here with QVO Tactical. In today's video, we are hitting the range in this hot Vegas sun with a gun that is cooler than any Glock build that I have made to date. Of course, I'm talking about the Bull Armory Axe Hatchet. As always, I like to tell you guys how I go about getting these guns in for review. Uh, we've been working with the team over at Bull Armory for the last few years in regards to content and holsters. They told me about their new Striker Fire platform and asked if we would like to make a video on it. Of course, I said yes, and here we are. Uh, this gun was sent to us free of charge for us to use for this video and for future content. Now, if you're looking for a breakdown of the specs on this platform, make sure to stay tuned until the end of the video as we go over that stuff there. All right, without further ado, guys, let's get into the range footage. Um, as always, we recorded our first rounds through the gun, so here's that footage now. All right, guys, out here on the range for our first rounds through the Bull Armory Axe. Uh, this is the compact version. For those wondering, it'd probably be comparable to the size of a Glock 19. Uh, I'm going to be running some uh, 115 MagTech through it with a Hollow Sun 507 competition. And uh, let's see how these first rounds go. Here we go. So the gun recoils and comes right back to zero, definitely liking it. Uh, I'm normally running like a full size grip, like a 19X or uh, my staccato, um, what is it? The uh, C2X that I built, which is like a, a P full size grip with a C2 slide. So definitely a little bit on the compact size grip for me is definitely affecting how I can grip the gun, but cause I don't really run like 19 size guns, but it does feel really good. Definitely gotta get the optic zeroed. I can see it's going uh, high left. Even when I present it, I can see the optic, uh, the dot being high left, but I mean, it felt really good. That trigger feels really nice. We'll go take a look at the hits up here. For the most part, we're alpha. We got one, two, three, four. It's a line breaker, but so four Charlies. But like I said, when I was presenting the gun, presenting straight out, the dot was about here um, in the window. So I guess that's pretty on then. I'm gonna have uh, Gabe and Landon shoot it, see what they think. Um, but right now for the first 15 shots, I'll say um, the thing that stands out for me the most is the trigger, uh, very clean to the wall. Like the prep is consistent through, the break was nice. And then I like how it returned right away. Like as the shot broke and I was resetting my trigger, the dot came right back into my field of view. So I'm sure if I start, you know, running uh, some faster splits, the dot is just gonna, I'm not gonna see the dot move. It'll stay and I can track it, but I'll have the guys shoot it and see what they think. All right, we got Gabe up now. First rounds to the Bull Armory Axe Hatchet. Go for it, bud. Damn, Gabe. So you're a Glock shooter, but I forgot to mention, this is the grip angle of a 1911, so. Yeah, no, that, that kind of threw me off at first. Honestly, it feels pretty good. Yeah, I was really just going back to where I wanted it to. I'm used to shooting the my Gen 5 17, so this little smaller grip on it's a little bit, not new, but it's been a while, but it still felt pretty good overall. Yeah, let's go check out the grip. Yeah, so looking at the hit, same exact thing, high left. So yeah. we'll have Landon get his shots in, and we'll uh, zero this thing up and get on with it. Cool. All right, Landon came back out to the range. He enjoyed last week so much. You We're back it. out here in this uh, this cool 105 degree <laughs> breezy weather. First rounds, bull armory hatchet. Go for it, bud. Man, I feel like there was no recoil for you. Yeah, first impressions, man. That is not a Glock-like trigger at all. It's got a like definite wall, clean break. That gas pedal definitely helps me out too. And uh, this 507 comp, I've never lost a dot at any point, which is common for me. How are the hits? Consistent with ours, so yeah. Yeah, I feel like it was tracking true, but um, dude, that dot, I'm not a red dot shooter and that thing was just always right where I was looking. And um, I like it so far. The next thing we did on the range was zeroing this Hollow Sun 507 competition properly. So as you guys see here, like we said from the uh, initial rounds, definitely high and left. So 
I don't have a really good tight group though, but I got two rounds here, so I'm gonna go off of this guy. So one, two, three, four. So you need to go four inches down, and then one, two, two inches right. We'll make our adjustments and then get squared away. All right, so we made our adjustments for elevation already, and uh, for the 507 competition, for you guys out there that are zeroing yours, at 10 yards, you're looking at about one eighth of an inch per click adjustment. It's one MOA, one MOA at 10 yards is around eighth of an inch. So if you take two inches divided by an eighth, you get 16, so that's how many clicks I need to go right to bring it back to center. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we went 16 clicks down, or sorry, 16 clicks right, and. 32 clicks down and that should put us near center. Let's see how we do here. Five rounds, we'll go take a look at the hits. So, Got two in this hole, so one, two, three, four, five, that's my flyer. So these two, not that guy, but this guy, and this guy will be my grouping. So it looks like I need to come back one down, uh, one, one more inch down and, one, and then back left, and we should be good. So I always gotta have that one flyer, but the fact that these two are touching the inner diamond, I'm good. I'm not gonna keep chasing the zero. We're gonna get on the range. So 10 yard zero, close enough for me. Uh, if we start noticing any deviation while we're out on the range doing our drills, I'll check it again. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm good to go on that. Now you all know that I like to go right into build drills immediately after we zero the gun. Uh, for me, build drills let me get a much better feel for the trigger. I'm able to see how much take up there is needed, uh, how heavy or light the wall is on the trigger, and how forceful the reset is with me getting back on trigger uh, during in-flight reset. Whoa, battery. Two point four five. All right, let's go again. Ready. I fix my grip again in the first round. What was the time on that one? That was a two point zero one. Two zero one. We tack back. One point nine seven. One nine seven. I want to get one more under two. Ready. One point seven nine. One seven nine from concealment. Was able to track the dot, guys. The five zero seven comp from Hollow Sun. Definitely an awesome optic. I love the large field of view. Um, and it's just easy to track. So we have a uh, Gabe and Landon. Time 2.40. Let's go again. Ready. Two point four eight. Think you had what? One miss? I think it was two misses. Gotcha. I didn't get a good grip on it and I tried to correct it. Ready. cadence but a whole lot of misses <laughs> ready there you go clean 244 first shot was a 136 you got enough for one more yeah i got enough for one more ready Two forty four. Two fifty one. First shot was a one forty five. I think you only had one miss. Let's go again. Ready. Woo. That was a two two 
six, man. That was almost sub two. Oh, man. We'll get there. First shot was a one, one seven. Ready. about how we just filmed this portion of the video with our shot times overlaid onto our footage. Um, I'll explain that for you. We are using the SG Shot Timer from Shooters Global. Uh, this is a new shot timer that has come to market and easily has some of the coolest features that I've ever seen in a shot timer to date. Uh, we have a full video coming out on this product very soon, so definitely stay tuned for that. But in short, guys, the shot timer syncs up with your smartphone and allows you to video record through your phone while having all of your split times and shot times overlaid directly onto your footage. I have found it to be a really Really cool tool that allows us to show you our hits and our speed in real time. Now we wanted to run some El Presidente drills from concealment while using the SG shot timer as well. Ready. Total time. 8.12. One, two. Right. Two misses for a total of? 7.39. 739. I'll go one more. See if I can get all my hits clean. Eleven point four three. Eleven four three with the mag from the audience. I'll take it. Eight point five. Nice. Let's go again. Ready. Nine five. You got enough for one more? Um. Next up. No, I got you. <laughs> fifteen shots total, seven sixty one. Cool fifteen shots. You got enough for another one? Sir. Let's go again. Clean it up. Stand by. Ready. Eight twenty six, thirteen shots, but you got all your hits. Only one miss. So one thing I wanted to do while we were out on the range was give a breakdown of the trigger. Um, you guys all know that I typically shoot 1911 and 2011 style guns, which are known for having amazing triggers right out of the box. Um, I have to say though, I was very impressed with the trigger on the Bull Armory Axe. To better illustrate this, check out this footage. All right guys, something that I wanna keep on doing for you while we are out on the range is talking about the trigger. So the gun is clear right now and we'll kinda of go over it. Nice consistent prep, goes to that wall. And then a clean break, very light break. Um, I wanna say probably like three, three and a half pounds. I'll have to look up what the specs are, but that's what it feels like to me compared to like other striker fired uh, handguns. But I'm definitely liking the trigger. The trigger shoe feels comfortable. I like the straight uh, profile and then hitting that wall and coming clean back. I'll load up a mag here and you can see it live. So here, there's the prep, there's the wall, break, the reset, very crisp. 
You can feel it, you can hear it, it's very tactile. And then if you do some in-flight reset, the gun just kind of stays zero, or uh, returns to zero very quickly. It's very easy to get to that wall. So I'm definitely liking the trigger out of the box. Uh, it's one of the nicer ones. Um, I wouldn't really change it out or do anything to it. I think they kind of got it to where uh, you would buy aftermarket components to get it this nice. Before we left the range, I did want to get Gabe and Landon on camera to give their overall thoughts on the platform. All right, Gabe, finishing up on the range, what are your thoughts on the Bull Armory Axe Hatchet? So overall, this gun feels pretty good. Um, the trigger's very nice. Um, there's a nice prep to it, and it's comfortable, not anything to where if you're gonna put a lot of rounds on it, it's gonna wear down on your finger. It's nice and smooth. Um, getting used to the compact, I guess, frame as you would, almost like the 19 size. Took a little bit of getting used to getting back, but this gun works pretty well, runs pretty smooth. We haven't had any malfunctions or anything, which is also a plus, but overall, I like it. It's a nice gun. All right, Landon, range video two for you. What are your thoughts? Um, my thoughts on the axe is, uh, shoots good. It points really naturally because of that grip angle like you were mentioning earlier. I didn't have to cam my wrist. Um, that trigger's got a really definable wall, so if you like that, this is definitely the gun for you. Uh, if you're more like a rolling break, it might not be preferred, but it's way better than your stock lock trigger. I'll take this all day long. What do you think for, uh, I think it's around 600 bucks. For 600 bucks, it's optics ready. It's got a way better frame texture than your stock lock. This thing will not come out of your hand. When you grip, um, you know, a shot string at like five, it's gonna track right back there and it's not gonna be slipping out of your hand at all. I'm a fan. All right, now that the range footage is over with, I do want to go over the specs of this new offering from Bull. The Bull Armory Axe Hatchet is their latest offering for the striker fired handgun market. It has a four inch barrel chambered in nine millimeter with front and rear dimpling along the slide so that manipulations can easily be done. The gun comes optic ready with the Trigicon RMR footprint and also features a flat face trigger shoe with a three and a half pound trigger pull. The grip features an integrated flared magwell with slide cuts as well as an aggressive texturing that we found to be just the right amount while out on the range. You will also notice a double undercut trigger guard and slim profile gas pedal ledges on each side of the frame for your support thumb. The Axe Hatchet also features a reversible magazine release, extended slide stop, and steel iron sights. The optic cut is nice and deep allowing for a very low co-witness with standard height iron sights. The gun is also equipped with a 1913 Picatinny rail so that you can attach weapon lights like this TLR-7A from Streamlight. Lastly, the gun will ship in a very nice padded carrying case with two 15 round magazines. And speaking of magazines, yes, the gun is compatible with Glock magazines. Now, if you guys are curious about the holster that we were using in the video, this is our QVO Tactical Wingman Appendix Rig. The holster features multiple points of adjustable retention for both the firearm and spare magazine. The holster is curved in the center so that it follows the contour of your body, providing better concealment. It also features a removable concealment wing, which goes behind your belt and pushes the grip of the firearm in towards your body, again, providing better concealment. This specific holster has our new Cyberpunk Samurai fabric overlay on top of pink neon Kydex. We like our holsters to not only be functional, but also aesthetically pleasing. You can find these on our website, qbotactical.com. The Bull Armory Axe Hatchet is compatible with Glock holsters that have weapon lights equipped. Without a weapon light, you will need to order a specific holster for the Axe as it does feature a different shaped trigger guard. Okay guys, so now my overall thoughts. Um, I know some of you watching this video, you're already down in the comment section saying, Wow, just another Glock clone. Um, and guys, honestly, I do understand your frustration. However, I know that with the Gen 3 patent expiring, um, there have been several different manufacturers coming out with their own striker fired variants over the last couple of years. Um, now, the reasons you might want to take a look at this one are definitely going to be different than others, at least for me anyway. Um, the reason I say this is because you guys all know that I'm a fan of the grip angle of a 1911. It just points more naturally for me and I don't have to camp my wrist forward when presenting the gun. The Bull Armory Axe Hatchet has the same grip angle as a 1911. So when I was on the range and I presented the firearm, the red dot immediately came into my field of view, allowing me to get quickly on target. Additionally, with the slide machining, the built-in ledge cuts, the stipple style texture all around, uh, this leaves very little for this gun to be sent out for in regards to aftermarket work. The gun is already optic cut and done so very nicely as it is very deep and the trigger guard out of the box feels like a finely tuned aftermarket one that you'd probably purchase for about a couple hundred bucks. So if you're like me and you wish that there was a striker fired handgun with a grip angle of a 1911 and all of those aftermarket components of a high-end Gucci build, but at a price point of 600 bucks, then this gun is definitely the one for you.
Now guys, please understand, we only ran about 350 rounds through the gun while we were out on the range in 105 degree weather. Um, we did not experience a single malfunction though. We ran a mix of 115 grain and 124 grain nine millimeter ammunition and the gun performed flawlessly. Um, I think that a lot of people sleep on the quality of products that Bull Armory has been putting out over the last few years. Um, I've said this in my other videos for Bull Armory regarding their 1911s and 2011s. Their guns are feature rich and at a very reasonable and attractive price point. And as we put more rounds down range with the Axe Hatchet, we will definitely keep you guys informed if we come across any issues whatsoever. Now, like I said before, the gun as is does not leave a lot of room for aftermarket work. And I think that this is true with one exception. Um, I wish that they would offer this in a ported version, but you guys all know that I like to port every gun, so that might just be me. I am happy that the gun is compatible with Glock magazines. However, I do wish that it came with more than just two magazines, um, as they have specific mags made with their own base plates and all. Um, I also wish that there was a variant that combines a full size grip with a compact slide, but again guys, that's just my personal preference. So in conclusion guys, if you're somebody who likes the reliability and performance of a striker fired handgun, but you're not a fan of that forward canted grip angle, then this is a gun you should definitely check out. Again, with a very competitive price point, you are getting a platform that already has all the bells and whistles just right out of the box. Guys, gals, that's gonna wrap up this video. We appreciate you checking it out. Um, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up down below because it does help out the channel. Again, if you're new here, consider subscribing because we post new videos every week. Thank you to Bull Armory for sending this out to us. We always appreciate you guys sending us guns for reviews. We dig your stuff. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. and I'll see you in the next one.